Back now with Commitment 2020, Democrats need to flip six seats in the state house in order to take back control. And one of the key races is happening in Alamance County this time around. That's where Democrat Ricky Hurtado is challenging Republican Stephen Ross. Hurtado is the focus of our Commitment 2020 report now. Here's Bill O'Neill. Hurtado says that Republicans have got it wrong on education, health care, as well as taxes. This is his first bid for political office from a candidate who describes himself as Latino and who wears his heritage on his sleeve. I'm running for office. I'm the son of immigrants. My parents fled El Salvador uh, in 1980 to escape a civil war. Uh, and I always share that piece of information because it's very much the backdrop to my life and a, a huge influence and motivator. The son of immigrants says he wants to ensure that working families like his own weather the pandemic and emerge stronger when it's over. He says education changed his life. Now he wants North Carolina to help change the lives of others by investing more money in traditional public schools. My opponent and many Republicans across the state have no plan on how to fix that. And they've continuously not invested in public education. And so as a product of public schools and as someone who is also now an educator working with families who are really struggling to make ends meet. The Alamance County Democrat says Republicans made tax cuts a higher priority than education, leaving less money for schools. You, you say that the Republicans have not invested in public education, and obviously they push back pretty strongly on that. I think Republicans often like to tout their investments in public education, but if you speak to families, if you speak to teachers, they're clearly frustrated with the state of our schools. And how would you pay for all of this? If you want to spend more on education, are you willing to raise taxes to make that happen? I think that our budgets at the local level and at the state level are moral documents that really show our priorities as a community. Hurtado notes that Republicans cut the state's corporate tax rate in half, hoping to attract jobs. There's certainly a conversation to be had around how we incentivize employers come to North Carolina, but it shouldn't be at the detriment of working families in our public education system. Hurtado raises concerns over school choice in North Carolina. We have to stop at stop some of the things that aren't working right now. Our voucher program is not working for families in North Carolina. Uh, we've seen plenty of charter schools that are not being held accountable, and that is actually hurting families in North Carolina. He stopped short of calling for a cap on charter schools, saying he'd consider one. As for vouchers, I certainly do support a moratorium on things like the voucher program until we can get our public education back on track. How important is the Latino vote to your success? The Latino vote is important in Alamance County. It's important across North Carolina as well. I think elected officials and candidates are, are becoming increasingly aware that you cannot win an election without having a diverse coalition of voters that has your back. What would you say is the biggest difference between yourself and your opponent? I'd say I bring both lived experience and professional experience that connect to the real problems facing our community today. Uh, we have uh, a current legislator in my district that ha has become really disconnected with the problems that everyday North Carolinians face and favors those at the top as opposed to working families that are facing crises. Hurtado is a teacher at UNC Chapel Hill. He says he had full rides to both Chapel Hill and Princeton. He says he wouldn't be where he is today without that help. Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.